Good afternoon and welcome to Paper Crafts by Hannah. I my if you are new to my to my page, my name is Hannah. I am a Stampin' Up independent demonstrator based in the UK. If I I like to show people how to make cards and how easy it is that you can make cards at home using the products used in all my demonstrations, in my pictures, everything. I'm just getting it up on my computer so I can see comments. So today, we now we get into September, I'm going to be starting on Christmas cards to get my Christmas cards all started ready. So we're going to be using the sweetest Christmas sweet. In this sweet you get the sweetest candy canes stamp set which is this one. So you get two candy canes but they go opposite to each other. You get a leaf, you get it's the most wonderful time of the year. Wishing you lots of love and joy and happiness this Christmas season. Candy Cane wishes mistletoe and mistletoe kisses. May the good times of today become the cherished moments of tomorrow. Merry and bright. You also get the dies. Which you get one of these dies. Which is like a background die. And then you get two candy canes, you get this sort of die, and you get two leaves. So this is one stamp set and die set you get with this set. It is over a hundred pound set, but you get two stamp sets. You get Christmas banners. So you get three different type of Christmas banners. You get leaves and holly and berries you get happy this this season just for you season greetings christmas wishes but then you also get dies which come like this all dies are not going to be have a magnetic sheet behind it i just put them like that you get a die that sort of die and you get another die so you get three different types of banners then you get some leaves, so you get little bits that you can cut out as well. So you get two banner sets and then you get some ribbon, which I will show you. is this ribbon so you get some real red and garden green ribbon you get some adhesive back dots which you get different ones You will also get some red, real red and white glimmer paper, which I haven't got handy with me, but I will quickly grab some. So there you go, we've got some glimmer paper. And then you get some DSP. So I've started cutting up this DSP and I've already used one sheet. 
but you get ones with candy canes that you can cut out using the dies which are these so I've cut out a whole load of candy canes using the papers then you get ones with mini candy canes on it and then some stripes some dots and stripes more dots and stripes stripes and more candy canes on the back of the other paper you get some stripes as well so you get all this sweet for 125 pounds 75 so it is quite a big sweet in it the dsp coordinates with sweet sorbet real red garden green and pool party I have a feeling it's got some pink, so I've got a feeling it might be some other colours in it as well. Okay, so we're going to have a play with the sweet. So I've cut out a whole load of stuff some cardstock and some DSP. And I think to start with, I'm going to do a case from the catalogue, which case means copy and share everything. So the catalogue has got pictures on this side that you can use. You can use different So we're going to have a go at copying one of these pictures. Let's copy, try and copy this one. So we can turn, this is sweet sorbet and you turn it around that way. And then you get the DSP and the DSP we are going to use is the dotty one. So you get your paper trimmer and you cut it up and you cut it at six. So you have a lift. And then you stick this onto the card. And then I've got a pot of labels and we will use the biggest circle label. This is from the Stylish sh Shapes Circle. So we are going to use a candy cane one of these candy canes and it's not going to be exactly the same but we're going to try and do it a little bit the same and use this candy cane and then let's put two on there what do you reckon yeah so we're going to use the glimmer paper and we're going to cut a small strip. We're going to cut a three centimetre strip. Do apologise if you can hear noise in the background. And we're going to cut that at ten down the side so it's only a small strip so you stick it onto there like that and And 
and you stick the circle down and then what we do is cut some leaves out which we're going to be using some garden green which I have some already cut up and we're going to do some white ones so get the big shot out just clear the desk a little bit and I can show you Christmas banner dies. And cut a whole load of different leaves. Let's do that with these ones. Do two more. <coughs> Sorry, sneezing. That came out of nowhere. I hope you all had a lovely August. I'm so sorry I've not been live for the last four weeks, but I've been on holiday, and last week I had a a fair that I did down at the road near me so I do apologise but I'm back now and hopefully we'll be going live every week unless I've got a whole weekend of crafting or I will be at a fair but I will always let you know if I'm not going to go live so I've cut some leaves and we'll be sticking these leaves on. Then we'll stick one of these on, which we'll be using dimensionals. So at the moment, the next one that I might not be able to do is in October, which is when I've got a Christmas retreat with my upline that I'm doing for the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I may not be on then, but I will let you know for sure. I should do, I don't think I will be actually. I will let you know close at the time. Then we are going to cut pop the green off. I'm gonna cut four. Let's do two. Two centimeters by a 
right so it's not a complete copy of the one in the catalogue but it's a, a little bit something so i've got it's the right it's sort of the same but it's sort of not so i've kind of mixed it up a bit just to give it a different so we're going to use we've got whisper white ink Okay, so I will show you how to use this ink. Hang on, let me just grab the Whisper White ink up. If I can find it. I do apologise, I forgot to grab it out. So this is what, it's like comes uninked and then you need to have this ink that comes with it. So you put a couple of dots on Then what I do with a bit of scrap is put it on like that so we try and make it soak in so it's easy to use. And then we are going to use just for you from this set. So we're gonna get a block, we're gonna use block G. I'm going to stick it on. And I'm going to ink it up. And then there you go. And then you clean it the same way you would clean any other ink pads. Which is you spray some stamping mist on. I'll keep that out just in case I need it again and then I'm going to stick it on actually we might be able to make it a little bit more smaller it's two so we do one and a half Then you can, as you, you can cut it to as small or as big as you, would, small as you would like if you think it's not. And then using the smaller ones, we're going to stick these on the back. So, I please. Feel free to interact on my page as well. I will put different engagement posts, so from would you rather to finish a sentence, random facts, anything and everything. I will post different promotional things just to show you what else you what you can get when there's special offers. And then we'll be using some of these dots. There'll be different tips, but always feel free to comment. Please feel free to join in. Follow me on Instagram. Talk, communicate, email me. Anything crafty related you can ask me. I will always happy to answer. So there is one card made today. I am going to also start up an emailing list which you are all welcome to join in. 
where I will be doing, there's a group of demonstrators and I will be doing, every month will be doing tutorials where if you are on my mailing list I can email you different tutorials that I've made and other demonstrators have made. So next month one will be anything. So it can be from Christmas, it can be kids, it can be spring, it can be winter theme. Anything happening there will be a set theme every week for you all. So if you want to join my mailing list, I would get, email me your email address and I will add you to my mailing list and you can get tutorials, craft inspiration, anything and everything every week. So we've made one card today so far. I'm just clearing up some of my desk a little bit so we can make some more. So the next card we're going to make, we are going to use, if I can find my cardstock, is some basic white thick. So this is the thick card, which is perfect for bases. And then we are going to use some DSP for the background, which I have already cut up as well. Sorry, I have put things in easy places for each, but I've now lost them. So we're going to do put this as the background, and then cut up some white paper. Needs to be a little bit bigger than the DSP actually. Let's do just stripes because I will show you what I want to do. I'm going to get the DSP out. So I'm going to stick some of these adhesive sheets on the back of the white card which I have put somewhere so as you can tell I am a messy crafter and I never know where I put things until I lose it and then I need it again so I'm going to cut the size we need up Doesn't matter if the cutting of the adhesive sheets is not straight. Right, so, and then we're going to stick the adhesive sheets on the back of this. Sorry, my square chair seems to be squeaky today. This will make it easy to cut up That's the Christmas banners. As I say, I am very messy crafter when it comes to it, but because I lose things very easily. We're gonna use this one. I'm gonna show you how it works, right. I'm going to pull the bone up again, sorry to make you dizzy. So you cut, put this onto the die. Then 
then you get the other plate. It doesn't matter if it's straight, it doesn't matter if it is, and it is. Have as big of a gap or as little as a gap. You stick it on and then you wind it through. There might be some crackling, but that's because it's a bigger die. And I forgot I put cards on the end of there. And then you've got. And you take this off and, just, and then you take out the holes the little strips I'm going to put these in the bin because you're not going to need them but you don't have to throw them away actually I'll keep them because I might be able to use them again just put my dye away so you don't lose it because no me I will lose it bring it back and then it sticks onto there And then you can just see the stripes. Okay, so what you do is then you, sorry, so my chair seems to be very squeaky at the moment, is peel it off and it's sticky on the back, this side. So it's easy to stick down. I have made another one using this, but I unfortunately cannot show you the project yet because at team training next week I had made use this set or something to use for and it will give it away if any of my team, any of the team are watching. Hi Margaret, no that's absolutely fine, it doesn't matter if you're late. I hope you're doing very well though. I'm just making cars using the sweetest with the candy cane set. I can't remember what it's called. I hope you are doing very well though. I'm going to stick this onto the base. And then you can use some of these again. Let's do the two. Let's do those two for a different direction. So you can stick the candy canes on again using dimensionals. Oh no, I hope you're okay and your knee is getting better. And hopefully you can get in the crafty mood very, very soon. But a speedy recovery, if not, just try and relax, enjoy watching inspirational videos. Uh, 
Then I'm going to use, I'm going to cut a banner up. Ooh. What do you reckon you think it needs on there? Need some colour, don't they? It's very white, so... What do you reckon I should do? Should I do a circle? Double punch, what double punch? What like the double oval punch? This one? Because that's the only one I've got that's a double one. And what colour do you reckon I should do? I should do the garden green or some real red or pool party. Which one do you reckon? The green. Thank you very much for cho choosing, Margaret. And the green will be perfect. Or, what about a dragon? What do you reckon we should, do you reckon we should put Christmas cheer or season greetings? So I will stamp both of them for you in Using the wrong block, really. Or we have got
So Christmas greetings or Christmas cheer. Can't quite decide. I feel like Christmas cheer would be better. But then if I'm doing Christmas cheer, it will only fit in the green one. Christmas cheer it is. Thank you very much, Margaret. I'll just clean these off. I'll put them away. Okay, we have made two cards, and that is with the help of Margaret as well. Thank you very much, for Margaret, for joining in and picking what to put on the card. So we have made two cards so far, doing with the Christmas cheer, Christmas stamp set. So we have made this one, and then we have made this one. This one is slight case from the catalogue. So I will make some more cards using the stamp set and I will show you. I will make this week's theme all about the candy canes. Each week I want to do a theme on a stamp set where on my live it starts off with some cards and then during the week I will show you the products more. I will make some more cards. Show you different techniques that you can do using different stamps, using the cards. And then I have this morning made some more cards for you. I have made this one, which is in garden green, using the garden green ribbon. This is using the new, I can't remember what it's called, hang on, let me just... the new snowflake 12 by 12 speciality foam. So in this set you get, it's 12 by 12, but I've cut it down. And you get some vellum that looks like this. These vellums, so you get snowflakes. And then you get some vellum that's got white embossed. I can't remember what they, you call it. But it feels like velvet. And you get dots as well. So I made the other one using the snowflake as well, the background. So this is another new product you can get. So they look both slightly the same but different. This is using DSP down the side instead of the vellum. 
just using the vellum as the background so these are two other cards you can make so thank you very much for watching remember next week i'll be going live with another product maybe not sure which one yet i hope you all enjoyed keep an eye out on my page because there'll be different posts on tips and tricks and even memes if they're craft memes there could be engagement posts all sorts this week all around the candy canes maybe some facts as well about candy canes thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and see you next week bye